Oh no. You dug straight down in Minecraft. Well frankly, that's what you get, you fucking bastard. What? What did I do? Everything wrong. <laughs> Man, they're really jamming out to some techno music. Techno wobble of a dub dub, am I right? No. That's, that's rude. Right here, I thought Sam really liked to jam. <sighs> Sometimes. Boy. Let's begin with a basic if you <gasps> can I First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's All Kyoko. Right. There's no other explanation. Did you really just say that? Uh, Kyoko's standing right there. <laughs> no, that's a ghost! But she has legs and stuff. <laughs> well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. You know what this class trial background looks like? What? You know, you know at Walmart there's like different colors of kitchen tools and there's like you know the standard silver one the standard black one the stand there's like a red one and then there's one that's just a fucking rainbow that's like 40 percent yeah. more than the rest well i think monica we got the wallpaper that was 40 percent more than all the other ones to how much ridiculousness i can tolerate um okay so I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoto, right? That's pretty and easy. Let's compare Kyoto. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Are you are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> One for a trick. Kyoto has a proof the body doesn't belong to his own gloves. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Why? Why is this a thing, Billy? <laughs> All right. Sam, I think I'm done. I don't know if I have if I have the patience for this level of bullshit. You think it's 3 a.m.? That one over there. My hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. I would also imagine that many gloves wouldn't fit properly. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Hanging Josh is the idea. I really am. <laughs> Although, I'm not as much of a dickhead. Yeah, true. Or rich. Alive. Then who died? Yo, mama. I the body. I guess the tattoo on the right hand goes there. Hey, remember when Makoto walked up? Or remember when Yasuhiro walked up to Makoto and was like, "We're dumb brothers." We're what brothers? Come brothers. Yeah. No, I don't. Whole thing that's like the woman that you end up marrying is my ex or something like that. Oh yeah. Or the mother of your kids, my ex-wife. Oh. Oh yeah, he did say that. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must have made her get it. To be like, you're my bitch. Nice. <laughs> Seriously? What? You really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Dead. Oh shit. That you, you got it. Cool. Oh. Where's that? I guess they did explain that that's what it, 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 it was. It took me it off. took me a second, yeah. They explained. Wolf or Ragnarok or whatever. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Mm -hmm. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world-ending wolf. 
He's the child of the trickster god Loki and the female giant. I did not know that part. After all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. Took her long enough. Nope. <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Oh boy. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a cool last trial? Do we, does she need, does she need to whisper into your ear, Toko? Like Kyoko's whispered into my ear five separate times through flashbacks? What? What? Three times for 3 a.m. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. You're wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Yo, we gonna have a coup. Please. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, sprinklers happen every morning, but maybe it's the other one. Oh wait, so the sprinklers happen every morning, then you yeah. should have the wet body. Yeah, exactly. So only wet after you That's, it. Yeah, and I shot sprinklers at 7.30, but that didn't work. So, I'm trying to figure out what they want specifically. Honestly, this part why I start ignoring the class trials, like what's happening, because knowing, knowing the answer, but not knowing the descent is the kind method, of annoying. Yeah. Sorry, programmer language. It's gonna be. Mm -hmm. You fucking nerd. I'm gonna guess. Let's try the other one. Place somewhere between ten o'clock. It was ten o'clock. What? Why would it be sprinklers on ten o'clock? Actually, murder couldn't have happened anywhere near ten o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. Okay, that makes sense. And what makes you so? Hold on. I remember this part perfectly. You do. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. The how to try it all. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you speak <laughs> such indecent words? <laughs> yep, that's what he said, all, all right. The body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? Tell you why. Fine. Denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Maybe. Oh boy. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place after sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. I think the sprinklers on 7.30 would have sufficed. Are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. I believe it. <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Oh, it does. you. You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Fuck <laughs> you. Anyway... That's you. You so Josh. Did Wait, what are you saying? I said if it was me, I would have called him some medieval slang. Hmm. Well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Hmm. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? Mm. What does it take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. You're really making me... Uh, you can just see the tarp. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. Mm. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, 
kept perfectly clean. I thought we were done with tarps in trial three. Just the underside of the tarp. It was totally spotless. Well, I'm testifying. Well, to Makoto for still not mentioning what happened that night. Hmm. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. If the side was facing down there, be blood, which is why they use duct tape. You put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Did they put duct tape over the wound? That'd be the dumbest shit. Well, maybe the culprit lost it. So oh, they covered it with the bomb. It. Hmm. If they got it, after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. You mean. Someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? What's under those gloves, Kyoko? I know. Oh, good. That's not what happened this time. The killer hmm. got the blood from right there in the garden. Oh, the chicken. Fuck, he killed this chicken. The blood from right there in the garden, right? Which must mean... I got Bruh. It. Could it have been chicken blood? You killed the chicken? Bruh. What? Chicken blood? No. When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. This is all sorts of fucked up. This is drawing the line. So, you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? Despicable. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man. Which one of them did it? Hey! Let luck decide. Let's flip a coin. <laughs> Tagging Josh. <laughs> what? We flip a coin. Not me. Easy. Oh, not that. I, mean, I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. I know that knife we found all black and burnt. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded. It was in the coders room, right? Pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when I. The scene where we get Makoto the knife. The knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? Because I thought it was obvious. It's Oh boy. Oh, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? No. So the. Stabbed is what killed her, right? I think I'm missing something pretty obvious here. I guess I'm gonna try this guy's dead body. Getting stabbed is what. Yep. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and then <laughs> once to cover it up. We think we stab twice in the same spot? No, that's impossible. There's no way that's possible. Um... <laughs> what makes this impossible? Oh, okay, this looks... I got it! The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. Me. Exploding the pit. What's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden? It like was that? rigged to a bomb. If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion. Uh, I, might I don't know if that's how physics works. But even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Based. No. I think like I've seen something like it somewhere before. This was me last time. Because, of course, it was in Santa Monica. This is gonna be a quick one. Nope. Then she's on the back. Hit on the back of the head. Well, she was hit on the back of the head, but she was wearing a mask. I think this might be a word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So was it the thing that hit her on the back of her head as the fatal injury? <clears throat> the back of her head on the victim's fatal injury? Yet to be determined, correct? Fatal injury has yet to be determined. Yep. No, it's wrong. Okay, I was right. <clears throat> to be... I'm thinking it's the titanium arrows. Because that's the only other thing that can be more about. Well, let's see if I'm wrong. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Top master. 
blunt object, all right. I'm not blaming you for downing it because there's one more thing about that murder weapon, one more secret. Okay, what's this one more secret? Bloody duct tape? Bye. Stop. Don't. Well, I thought you were going to say my duct tape, and I was about to be like, that's really clever of you, Josh, but then you just said mine diamonds. God, I hate her. Who doesn't hate Toby? Sims, probably. Toby Sims exists? The world is a terrifying place. I think they don't want me to leap from uh, too thin to bloody duct tape that quickly. Wait a second. What if you put a bunch of them together with tape? God, imagine doing with someone like code who's like, this is what it was, actually, no it wasn't, actually it was. So, I had all the pieces correct, they just wanted to use, to use the bloody duct tape immediately. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. Shut up. One stick is weak, so put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, as for who the culprit is that stabbed the general. weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Why? Oh, no. You act you yeah. cover for the culprit. There's only one thing that can lead to this fear. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Let's see what phase we're at. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. You should know better than anyone? What does that mean? What does it mean? Did you figure it out? No. This one's... Oh, okay. Oh. That's it. What do I have evidence for that? Did I really have done that? It has to be in my own room on something. Oh. <laughs> oh. What is the... How do they want me to get this? It was an absorb on... Not my room key. I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally yeah, I know. starting to... Uh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. Run away. Is that even an Run option? Away. Say. Say what? The lie? Say, save. I already saved. Okay, run away. I want to see what happens. I want to see if they even let you go. Running away isn't going to solve anything. I have to decide right here now whether or not to expose Jay. Let it go. Life. Aren't we all going to die? What happens if you let it go? <laughs> hmm. I, I don't think they'll allow it. I think they totally will. What's the real danger here? Because if you pursue the lie, we're all going to vote out Kyoko. But if we let it go, then what? Have they, have they ever really let you pick in any of these decisions before? Like, I think this is, I think this is I think this is the one that matters. What about running away? I think this is the one that matters. But who else could it have been? I mean, Biakia had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? Okay, this is a branching path. Mm -hmm. But of course I or maybe it doesn't let you pursue the lie. I was with you guys the entire time. I could have let find out. I couldn't. It, it had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. 
You all see it, don't you? The wall people. Okay, time's oh. up. Huh? Time's up. Class trials all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time's up? What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we... It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. So what? then, it's time for voting time. Shit. Okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? We could have stopped. It'd be... Yeah. <laughs> we're fucked Boots. here. We're so... Yeah, for busy. We're so fucked. Run. Run the fuck away. It's punishment time! Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew this was the wrong decision. God, this is horrible. After school lesson. Staying soon enough. Very soon indeed. Hmm. Those so people can be. The two things that you need to attend this school. One, you have to be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Three, you have to have your memory fucking white. Is that the shot from the beginning of the game? That's a rocket, a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. So you want to save and go look at the other options? It's probably the one that fell down here with me. Do you want to? What? I know. I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Snitch. was a trap, and I wasn't able to escape, so I lost. That's all this means. Yeah, I figured it wasn't her. Aren't the killer? Okay, time's up. Oh God. It's does she also get alter ego, or does she die? I bet she dies. Who knows? I haven't seen this. Hmm. Wait, what? I guess so. They get the same punishment. But does she live or does she count? Kind of I bet she's gonna get crushed. Oh, 
No, she is scared. They sure just have them react exactly the same. No, she's dead, dude. And that's how the last trial of Mikuru Kusama came to an end. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was really innocent or not. The god of the truth was lost forever. And even for me, I just stopped thinking about it. I was seeing the Mikuru the last trial. And then the end of it proved to be our last class trial. Once that was over, there was never a single murder at Coast Peak ever again. We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Bro. <laughs> Peace went only inside the school. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, they Toka's made. dead. Yeah. Toka's fucking dead. Peace, but <laughs> only for us. That was the only hope we had. So, Hang on. Was, so. was, was Hero right? Was Aoi the mom to both of them? Yes. Oh, to all God. three of them. No, to all three of them. You don't see the little Yapia? Yeah, but... Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is really this is weird. Oh. This is fucking no, this weird. Right. <laughs> Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Her claim? Oh, that's right. I had to do an explosion slide or not. I told you. There's never that's a choice so... in this game. That is such a fucking juke. Alright, might as well reload. Wait, all three of them are gone. That's such a troll. Oh, it's because... Well, I have to hit let it go and then load. He just fucking... That was funny, though. Because I'm still alive. As long as I have a light, I'll never get it. I'm making that crap. You should have been actually got a side of the view was. Go to sleep. <laughs> my sleep was deep and interrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. Keep me sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sun to come falling out of the sun. God. However. The film from the sky wasn't a sign. Nothing said it. What the? Strange sound pierced my silent isolation jarring me awake. As I watched the pile of garbage jostle and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down here? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it was that had tumbled down down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells... awful. Close enough. She killed you. Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. Where are you Shout doing here? Fact. Shout out to the fact that Aoi was getting plowed by all three of them. They just killed Toko. Toko wasn't even there. Did she die what? of a heart attack or something? What? What the happened to Toko? I think they all. Oh, I, think, I, I think they all killed her, and then they just never found the body. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Toko, with your fucking cut ramen on your head. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get her of the trash and face me again. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. You can talk once you're finished. Yeah, you know, Kyoko brings in the bread. Oh, is, is, is Makoto actually the ultimate hope? Oh, 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 oh. You already know that. You just said a spoiler. <laughs> but Kyoko... I don't know that, but... I love how in the alternate timeline, since they killed the only smart one, they all just started a colony in that school. Because they don't they... have enough people to do that, either. Not so it wasn't like... It wasn't like they were reproducing to, to like, 
to save the human race. They were just fucking the fuck at that point. They really were. They were all fucking out with you. They really were. You know, is it really true? You lost your memory. Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? Your fucking brain went blur. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school. I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. Oh, it's a monologue. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Mm -hmm. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. They're trying to get Aoi to have a bunch of babies. That's the whole reason they did this. So the masterminds are stolen from you? I think they, they stole it from all of us. And it could also mean... Somehow, my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Ultimate bodyguard, Kyoko Kirigiri. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. Well, why me? Because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was just my, that was just intuition, but... I see. I'm too stupid to be a mastermind. Your intuition was all right, though. The goal to get out of here. It's to stay here. And fuck Owie. Me too. Are you okay? No. So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. What is it? Is it going to be something that's not the ultimate detective? You mentioned your ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known me for. Yeah, I'm the ultimate detective. Of course. Would be the ultimate detective. Guess. Couldn't have guessed that. Correct. That's original. There was someone I had to find here in the school. The master. You had to find someone? Who? So... Well... It was the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. The academy we're in, the headmaster. Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Bruh. What? In other words... I was separated from his as a... As a from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope Speak. Bro, isn't he in his 30s? But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I'm not into you. Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of mad. Oh, this shit again. Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope Speak Academy. Whoa, upgrade! Map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. This was staff who must have had to stay overnight from time to time. Imagine. That's a new assassin hill. They could have, I could have become the victim. Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? You mean, yeah. Because he was snooping too, during the night. I can hear them, you know. The voices? Me too. Dead people. Oh, nice. The footsteps of the god of death. Bruh. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. I figured. That is the ultimate despair. And th that is our real enemy. So that whole title was bullshit. Because junk food was not at, at all involved in this case. Yeah. How do you feel? Picture of Howie and Samab had even bigger titties.